just this once. And I... I want to... Subscribe. Cardi Kaizoku. Alright, we're going to be doing a guide video today on how to download and install and play on the sim and how to customize it too. The OPTCG sim is an application uh, created by Batsu, Batsu TCG, Maya Batsu. I know that there are other sim guide videos out there because yeah, it's like over a year into the game now, but I feel like a lot of them don't give the proper credit to Batsu that he deserves. And there's even people who play on the sim who don't even know who Batsu is. So if I wanted Batsu to get the recognition he deserves, then it makes sense that why not I make a guide video for it? I do feel like with this sim, everyone's overall skill level in the game has gone up because we have a way to test out new cards. We have a way to test out cards we haven't bought yet. We're able to have a convenient way to play against each other that doesn't require us to set up webcams and stuff or even schedule times with people to play because there's like lobbies that you can join where you can find random opponents. So yeah, I think it is an amazing tool that we have in this card game. And I know there's a lot of people who feel like this holier than thou kind of superiority to people who play on the sim for some reason. I don't know where that kind of sentiment comes from. It's kind of weird to me, to be honest. But yeah, enough about that. So to start off with the guide, uh, you're going to want to bookmark this. This is my Batsu's link tree. I'll have it linked in the description below so you can bookmark it yourself. But basically, this is where I go to download the newest version of the sim whenever it's out. And then there is a Dropbox version and a Google Drive version. There's also like a base version with no images, but um, you probably won't ever use that one. And then here is Batsu's other links if you want to check out his other stuff. He has a Twitter, he has a Twitch, he has his own Discord. And yeah, support his Patreon too. In this video, we'll be going over the Google Drive version, even though that's like the backup version, but that's my main version, I guess. We'll click that. So here is the Google Drive link with all the different systems that you can play the sim on. There's an Android version, 32-bit version, iOS version, Linux, Mac, and Windows. I only have experience with the Windows version, so that's what this video will be going over. But yeah, the one thing to note about the sim is that there's no way to like easily patch it. So whenever a new version comes out with new cards, you do have to like redownload it from scratch. But very minor inconvenience. And if you have all these things bookmarked, it's no big deal at all. So we'll go ahead and download the uh, Windows version here for the purposes of this video. One thing to know is that whenever a new set drops or something like that, um, sometimes traffic can get pretty congested onto Google Drive or Dropbox. And then you might get imposed by like a download limit. So the way to get around that, there's a document here, download quota exceeded, click here. It has instructions on what to do in that case. So yeah, you just uh, make a copy of it onto your own drive. So if you click on the version that you want to download, there should be a option here that says make a copy. If you click that, it'll make a copy of it in your own personal drive and you can download it from your own drive. All right, now that we have the file downloaded here, we can extract it. We'll just extract it into the root folder here and we'll just open this up. So in this build windows folder, you'll find the executable that starts the, uh, the sim, the app itself. You can make like a shortcut for this. Put it somewhere more easily accessible for you. And then we'll start up the sim, see what it looks like. Let me resize the window so you can see. All right, so this is what the sim looks like right out of the box. Uh, you can go to the settings here, change your name. Uh, I'm Far D Kaizoku. I forgot that I put a joke name in. Let me <laughs> correct that. Far D Kaizoku. And then uh, there's options here that let you customize how your game flow plays. You can like, Set it so that you auto draw a card each turn or auto skip blockers if you don't have a blocker. Quality of life stuff like that. You can tinker around with it to fit your needs. Then we'll go back to the main screen. So the other thing you can do in the sim is go to the deck editor. And then by default, there, there are some default decks that come with the sim. Uh, I usually delete these whenever I download a new version. And then I just copy and paste my old ones from my past sim versions. But yeah, here is where you can actually configure your decks to play on the sim. Uh, you first have to click a color that you want to look. And then from there on, you can either like roll through and click the cards you want to add to your deck. Like if you want to add four hydrogens, you can click it one at a time or if you right click, it adds four copies. 
And then if you want to search, you can search for like Luffy by name. If you want to add four of these Luffy's in the deck or if you wanted to search like 2k counters, you could type C2000. It'll show all the 2000 counters. Yeah, and then there's like a little resource here on the on the on the left. Oh, wait, my avatar is blocking. Hold on. Okay, yeah, on the left here, it'll give you a, a bunch of other ways you can filter the cards here. So like, you want to look at like power seven thousand? You could do that with P. All the seven K power characters. And after that, you just give the deck a name. This is my PP poo poo deck. And yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your decks, how you save them to be played on the sim. Uh, from this page too, you can customize the images of the entire application. Here under the UI, you can change the image for the card backs here. If you click upload new image, you could do that. And then if you want to restore it, there's a way to do that too. You can change the background of the sim as well. Deck editing background, the play sheet. Yeah, just a bunch of customizations you can do. You can even customize the cards themselves. So if you wanted to change this regular Zoro to the Altart Zoro, you can do that from here. And then you can do it for every card. But I, I do it a different way. I don't do it from this screen. I'll show that after I get through this part in the sim. So yeah, we have that. And then when you actually want to play, you just click on the multiplayer tab. And then you can either play on the Western format, Eastern format. There's a unlimited format where there's no restrictions at all. And then private, if you want to play against a particular person, you just share a room code with them. We'll jump into the Western one just to show what it looks like. So here you'll see a bunch of available lobbies that people have uh, set up that you can join. Or you could host your own. You can even add a title so that, I don't know, you might entice people to play against you, or if you wanted to play like Enel only, if you want to play against Enels only, you can type that in the description. It doesn't like force the opponent to be an Enel, but but hopefully you'll find somebody who actually reads the title before he joins your lobby. And then uh, sometimes the the list of lobbies can get stagnant, so you just click refresh to uh, pull whatever is available at that time. There's a quick join too that that joins like a random lobby, but I've never used this. I usually just click. And then I won't show any sim gameplay because you can watch like the 400 plus videos on my channel of that. So yeah, that's pretty much the sim. And I'll even show my version of the sim. Yeah, so this is my sim with all the stuff, imaged assets that I uh, customize to fit my videos. So I have a different deck editing background, I have a different uh, background itself. And if you did want a place to get all the alt arts for the cards, I do think Batsu has like a, yeah, here, the Google Drive with all the alt arts. I, I don't use any of the alt arts, so I, I can't vouch for how up to date this file is. But yeah, I'm a basic art bitch. So this is here if you need it, I guess. And then let me show you how I normally edit the custom images in the sim. So from the build windows folder under the optcg sim underscore data folder, if you open that, there's a folder called streaming assets. This is basically where all the image files for the sim are located at. Uh, from here, this is where the background and the deck edit background files are. So you can just replace the files that are there with your own images. I kept the old one here just in case too. I always like to do that whenever I edit files in other people's applications. And then there's the playmats folder. This is where you can store all your playmats. I even have my uh, custom yellow one here. You can check it out. Maybe I'll make this available if you guys want to use this. And then in the cards folder, this is where all the cards for every set are stored. So instead of in the sim, replacing each one of these one by one, you could download all the alt cards from that Google Drive link and then just replace all of these in here with them. You can also uh, control the card backs from this page here. But I don't really edit the card backs, so these are the default ones. And then in the cards folder, you can also edit the Dawn too. If you want an easy way to like edit your decks, you can also go to the decks folder from the build windows folder. And this is where you can find all the decks that you have in your, your deck editor. All of these decks here are also here. And then whenever you 
install a fresh version of the sim, you can just go in this folder and delete all the, the those 10 like preset ones that, that it comes with by default. So that should be everything. That should get you up and running on the sim to play, to practice. Again, this is an amazing tool. I definitely would not have my YouTube channel without it. And I think the play level of people on the West would not be as high as it is without this application. So really huge shout out to Batsu. He does this for free and he updates the cards at an incredible pace. We get to test new cards well before they're released in English. This application really is a labor of love. It's a passion project. So if you do want to support it, uh, Batsu does have a Patreon. You can become a patron of his. He has a link to it on the sim too. And then go check out Batsu's YouTube, go check out his Twitter, go check out his Discord, just support him in any way you can. And that'll be it for this video, unless you guys want to know how I like record my videos too and how I edit, but that'll be for another video. Hey, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.